Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome back to the another great day of uh, GFGP Restreak and the continuation of our graph playlist. So today is the very standard or let's say the very um, building blocks of our graph, right? So what is an adjacency list? We need to print that. So given an undirected graph V with V nodes and E edges, create an adjacency list of the graph zero base indexing the follow is followed everywhere, okay? Adjacency list, what is it? Adjacency list is a 2D matrix. एक 2D array list होता है लेट्स से क्योंकि हम यहाँ पे array इसलिए use कर रहे हैं because we do not know कि एक node के कितने neighbours हो सकते हैं right and अगर उस चीज को हमें continuous store करना है if we know the size then it's array if we do not know the size or we can say if I need a dynamic array we can use a array list in Java right so what you need to do is we need to write down first of all all the nodes what are all the all the nodes present here right okay and this this is your 2D matrix and in each each horizontal level is actually an another array list, right? So that is why I'm saying this is nothing but list of list, list of list integer, right? Okay. So what are the neighbors of zero? It is one and four. So let's just write down in this horizontal list. It is one and four. And what are the neighbors of one? So it is similarly for zero. The neighbor was one, so one will be zero, hoga, and then zero will be neighbor four, tha, then for four also, the neighbor would be zero given. One sec. Yes, let's resume back now. Okay. So for zero, it was four. For four also, it would be zero because it is a undirected graph, right? Let's come to one. So for one, it is zero. And what? Three and two? Two, three, and four. Correct? And let's fill it for two, it is what? One and three. So let's write it down one and three. So for three, it's what? Four, one, and two. Or we just write it one, two, and four, right? So that's the agency list, adjacency list. So when we are at this point O or zero, right? We figured out that there was one, there was this neighbor one and four as well. Similarly, we can say the vice versa is also true, and that's why. At the same same moment, we added the neighbor zero for four and neighbor zero for one, right? I hope we got this point. So what are the uh, remaining neighbors for four? Let's just complete the list. So it is four is connected to zero, one and three, zero, one and three, right? I hope I hope uh, I'm right here. Hmm, great. And it uh, exactly matches with the given output here. So that's what we just need to print, right? So basic, so we need to just do some basic travel cells. We have already given an edges list. Right, this edges indicates that zero has the neighbor as one, then again zero has neighbor as four, and four has one. So each and every uh, entry in this two D matrix of edges have a relationship given of the neighbors. Right, so we just need to connect it, connect it with the same, and need to print this adjacency list, adjacency list. Right. So I will not give you the pseudo code now for this question. It is for you guys now to please stop here and try to code this. Uh, uh, whatever we have done in the dry run in the code editor because it's a very simple one you must be able to do it if not then let's resume back in after five to six minutes and then see the code okay so that's the code here so we have made a 2d array list here correct and now for each and every indexes we need to add this horizontal list for each and every indexes we, we added this horizontal list let me just uh, mark it this horizontal list is added for each and every index so that is what it's happening using another for loop, right? So this is skipped. This this extra for loop is not required in C++. We'll get to the C++ code as well. Then again, we are just traversing in the edges 2D matrix given. And we know that uh, this first, let's say this first, uh, which has the entry of 0, 1. So that could be accessed via uh, this edges of i, 0. And the second neighbor can be accessed via edges of i, 1. Because there are only two entries. So the first column will have the column as one, zero and the second column will have the column as one right and in the rows we are traversing using this for loop and we are just saying that if zero is the neighbor of one then definitely one is also the neighbor of zero so that is why we are uh, accessing the index of zero and then adding one to it and then again accessing the index one and adding zero to it right i hope that makes sense and then at last we are just retaining the narrow list and that is it we just need to compile and run and meanwhile it is compiling and running. What is the space and time complexity that uh, we, have, we have been using an array list 
to what is it? 2DR list to store all the neighbors. So that means uh, all and what are the number of nodes present here? So for V vertices, there are E edges coming out, right? So that's why O of V plus E is the space complexity. And what will be the time complexity? Now for again, we are going for each and every edges and for each vertices, there are um, E edges coming out, right? So, so again, it is V plus E as the time complexity as well. Great, the compilation has been passed successfully. Let us hit the submit button now and then we can see the C plus S code. Okay, so that's the basic fundamentals that how we have covered various times that uh, we already we always use the adjacency list in several algorithms either Dijkstra and Kusaraju and everything, right? So you can find that uh, those algorithms link in my graph playlist. And I have not scored the marks for this question, so definitely I have made this submission in 2021. So let us see the submission at that time. Is there is there any difference? Okay, so here you can clearly see that uh, in the input as well you are given an 2D array list and not a 2D matrix like this time, right? So they have particular sim uh, changed the question a bit, and that is why this for loop differs, right? So that doesn't like uh, it's not that important. We have we are done with this question. Let us see the C++ code, and that's the C++ code. I guess I don't think any walkthrough is needed. I am just hitting the submit button, and you can get all the source code in my DSL repository. I will mention the link of the DSL repository in the description. You can go through it, and yes, let us meet in the tomorrow's week of day 313 and with the continuation of the another playlist till then keep learning keep going bye bye and take care guys